Electrostatics is simply a branch of physics that deals with the phenomenon and properties of stationary or slow-moving electric charges with no acceleration. As we explore this topic, we'll start with the atom. So what is an atom? An atom is simply the simplest invisible particle of an element. It consists of a nucleus which is surrounded by electrons in their respective electron shells as shown in the diagram. Here, we shall explore a few aspects about the atom. Thanks for tuning in. It's Kisembo Academy. So looking at this diagram, we have the nucleus. We have the electrons and these electrons are positioned on electron shells. These electrons are free moving. They are always rotating around this nucleus. In the nucleus, we have the neutrons and protons. These neutrons and protons combined together make the mass of the nucleus. We should, it should also be known that the mass of, a new, of an atom, the mass of an atom is concentrated at the nucleus. And these electrons have got a negligible mass. So when you want to find the mass of the atom, we simply compute the total number of neutrons and the total number of protons that are present in the nucleus. Now around the nucleus we have electron shells and these electron shells have got free moving electrons that are always moving around. These free moving electrons are negatively charged. The protons that are found in the nucleus are positively charged and the, elect and the neutrons here do not have any charge. So the protons here are positively charged, the electrons are negatively charged and the electrons are always free moving around the nucleus. In the first shell, the shell that is immediately after the nucleus, it has got a maximum of just two electrons and in the next shells, the shells that come after the first one have got a maximum of eight. When an atom is neutral, it means that the number of electrons that are rotating around this nucleus is equal to the number of protons that are inside. It means that the positives and negatives are the same. It means that that atom is considered neutral. Now, during bonding, these electrons that are always moving around the nucleus can be lost. Now, when an electron is lost during bonding, it means that the overall number of protons in the atom will be more than the overall number of electrons. It would mean that this atom has got more positive charges than negative. And so that means that overall, the atom will be considered a positively charged one. Likewise, during bonding, this atom can gain more electrons. When it gains more electrons, it means that we are having more negatives than positives. And so it means that overall, the atom will be considered negatively charged. Electrostatic electricity can be produced when you rub a plastic ruler or pen against hair sound or when you iron a shirt sometimes it produces a cracking sound that is electrostatic electricity being produced. Also, when removing a sweater, for example, you hear a crackling sound. When you hear the crackling sound, sometimes when you're removing a sweater, it means that is static electricity being produced. To be able to identify positive and negative charges will depend on what we use. For example, if a polythene or ebonite rod are rubbed by a duster, they will become negatively charged. And if a glass rod or cellulose acetate are rubbed by a duster, they'll become positively charged. In our next video, we shall look at how a body is charged by induction. Please don't forget to comment below or hit that like button. Someone out there may like to watch this tutorial. Don't forget to share. Otherwise, for more videos, simply subscribe to this channel. For Kisembo Academy, this is Arnold Ranga Kuramia.